Hey guys, this is me back again with uh, another uh, couple of belt reviews for you and I'm gonna uh, get right into this one. Uh, this is uh, quite a special one uh, for a lot of Attitude Era uh, people. This belt was introduced in uh, 98 twice. It was introduced the day after WrestleMania uh, 14 and then introduced again uh, when it went from one logo to another logo uh, at Survivor Series 98. So you know right away what I'm talking about. It is the Mac Daddy Big Eagle WWF Championship Belt. World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship Belt. Absolute beauty. And this was made in 2001. So this has seen its fair share. This has been, this is, this is, uh, this has seen its war. This has got war stories as well. Not because I've mishandled it. Just simply because wear and tear over time, but it's still there. Uh, even the authentic uh, WWF WWE uh, fashion label there. And as you can see from the plates, we have the scratch logo up here at the top. You've got the eagle here, a couple of uh, uh, diamonds, big massive globe, World Wrestling Federation and champion under there. And we've got some uh, diamonds around the main plate as well with two other logos. Like I say, battle damage, so I'm missing two here, so I need to get that replaced. And then on this side plate, we have WWF WWE logo. Lion, the McMahon, the coat of arms, shield here. And then on this side plate, we have the WWF WWE logo and two diamonds here. And on the other side, we have sort of the same idea. We have Lion, no logo at the top because they've, managed, they've put the logo in a shield here. And WWF logo here and two diamonds. Now each plate or side plates have this sort of a uh, teeth uh, sketching in amongst the plates but uh, they're actually a lot thicker on the up-to-date WWE version uh, than what they were here on the WWF version. Uh, but they're really, really nice. I mean, they have it all the way around the main plate as well. If you don't watch yourself, you can actually cut yourself with it. But uh, yeah, so the WWF, uh, the Worldwide Federation, the World Wrestling Federation, World Wrestling Entertainment. I call it the WWF. I still call it the WWF. I'm never going to get away from calling it the WWF because... I am a WWF fan. I'm a World Wrestling Federation fan. Uh, so this belt, uh, like I say, was introduced in 1998. Uh, it was given to Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, the night after that he had won it from uh, Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 14. And it, so when it was introduced then, the WWF was going through a transitional period when they were changing their logo, uh, going from a traditional block logo to a more edgier uh, scratch logo. And that's what this one, this one here is. Uh, so for the first half, more or less the first half of 98 from March to, uh, to about July, uh, the belt had a block had a blue block logo on it. Really, really nice. Uh, really nice blue. Even the strap itself 
was a sort of Royal navy blue itself. Uh, really stood out, really caught your eye. Uh, now, only two people have that version. Uh, one is Stone Cold Steve Austin and the other is Kane. Uh, Kane won it at the King of the Ring in 98. So only two people have that version of the belt, whereas this version, the Scratch the version, was introduced at, like I say, at Survivor Series 98, and this was the WWF Championship all the way up to April of uh, 2002. So it wasn't in the previous one, the Winged Eagle was in, was there for 10 years. This wasn't here as long as what the Winged Eagle was, but it still made an impact still made an impact. Uh, it was the Attitude Era Championship uh, for the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin's won it. Uh, like I said, Kane's won it. The Rock's won it. Mick Foley has won it. Uh, the Undertaker has won it. Uh, Triple H has won it. Kurt Angle has won it. Uh, even uh, and Chris Jericho has won it as well. Uh, he won it when it was combined for the big gold, the big gold to uh, be the first uh, WWF, WWE undisputed uh, World Wrestling Federation champion. Uh, and fun fact, Triple H, when he won the title from Chris Jericho WrestleMania 18, he was the last person to hold this belt. Uh, I kind of think that is the reason why that the uh, WWF WWE have given Triple H a, a Superstar Series belt where he was the last guy to hold this belt. Uh, so, for those that don't know about it, the WWF Championship was introduced in 19... I want to say 62. I want to say 62, maybe 63, 64, between 62 and 65, I think it was, introduced. Uh, Vince McMahon Sr. Uh, was breaking away from the NWA uh, and his ter and the, he was one of the first people that broke away from the territorial uh, region of wrestling. So, he, which was in the New York area for him. So... He wanted to establish his own champion, so he decided he wanted to introduce the WWF Championship, the Worldwide Wrestling Federation Champion, is what it would be known as at the time. So the first person to get that was a former uh, NWA champion, uh, Nature Boy Buddy Rogers, and it went on to the likes of... Uh, one of the most famous champions was Bruno San Martino, uh, uh, Bob Backlund, Superstar Billy Graham, Pedro Morales, Ivan Koloff. Uh, those are some of the names that were that had it during uh, that era from the 60s, 70s and early 80s. And uh, when, when it became more famous when uh, Hulk Hogan became the WWF champion. Uh, Hulk Hogan won it from the Iron Sheik in 1980, late 1984, I believe it was. Uh, he became the WWF champion. And that just catapulted the World Wrestling Federation to new heights. Uh, so that's just a little bit of a start. I need to have the other belt before I start going into uh, the 80s and 90s <laughs> uh, era because that's not what this belt is about it's about the Attitude Era so the Ad Attitude Era was one of those transitional periods where uh, the WWF WWE were in a ratings war with uh, WCW and the they decided that they needed to up their game. And that meant updating their belts, updating their look of their TV uh, set, all of it. 
So from 90, from 97, Vince McMahon decided that they were going to step away from the cartoonish kind of characters and give you more real life base characters. That's where uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock and Triple H and even The Undertaker uh, became more so their selves. You know, uh, the Attitude Era was where The Undertaker done a complete 180, 360 and a 180 again where he came in in 1990 as an uh, old school Western Undertaker. And in 2000, when he was coming back from injury, uh, he decided he was going to be more himself. Uh, he, it was, his character was dubbed the American Bass, and they decided that he, he and Vince McMahon decided that they were going to try this for a little while. And it worked. It worked for uh, from 2000 to late 2003. Uh, so during that time, The Undertaker fought for this several times. He only won it once during that time. And uh, it was in uh, May 99 that he won this version. Uh, so... Yeah, it's awesome, awesome belt. Uh, this is my childhood. This belt is my childhood. It's the first ever championship that I got. Uh, so I'm really, really pleased to have this in my collection. Uh, my favourite belt, my, my big favourite belt, I will get to. Uh, but this has a special place in my heart because of it because it was the first belt that I got. Uh, I'm still <laughs> needing to get it re-leathered, I'm not going to lie, uh, but I'm just going to have to try and save up a little bit more money and definitely get it re-leathered so it can look more TV accurate and buff up a little bit so it doesn't look, uh, doesn't look so uh, war damaged <laughs> or battle damaged as I like to call it. Uh, so yeah, overall, from being from 2001, and this is now uh, 2020, the belts hold up pretty well over the years, I have to say. Uh, it's, man, it's a good looking belt. It's a good looking belt, definitely. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm getting nostalgic uh, looking at it. It's amazing. Amazing belt. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead because if I if I don't I'll get all bubbly and think about uh, the past of my era. So yeah. So tell me what you think. Tell me if you guys liked this era of the WWF WWE. Do you have a big a big ego? Uh, do you think this is a Great design. What designs are your are your favorite? You know, there's been several uh, WWF WWE championships. It doesn't need to be this version. It can be one of the past. It can be if you guys go up and look for the Bruno Sammartino's belt. That's quite a cool looking belt too. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna leave these here. Uh, so click subscribe, comment uh, down below. And let me know what you guys think. Okay, take care.